You tuned in to the Wide Open Podcast. <laughs> Yo, what's the deal? It's Waddy FTB. This is Ryan S. Harvey the Great. And we are the Wide Open Podcast. Today we got a very special guest in the OG. building. Uh, Bay Area OG. Legend. Overall real nigga, Lying, man. Nigga got nigga. a resume. Nigga, I just turned 21. I'm Young Stalin. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Stalin in the building. What's the damn deal, my boy? Shit, I'm good, man. You know. Hell I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm like wide open good. right now, man. Yes, yeah, sir. Believe sure. that. Sure, sure. man. It's 2020, my nigga. What, what's the energy for this year? What you got on the plate? Man, I'm trying to open up like uh, this year. I'm trying to open up two more clothing stores, two more barbershops. And I already got five albums done, so I probably drop I probably drop five albums this year, and open up two barbershops and two more clothes stores. How, how, how many? So how that's many? my plan for like just two twenty, but I got plans for twenty one and twenty two and twenty three. Straight up, five years plan ahead. Yeah, huh? Got to, got yeah, to, sure. bro. Got how to. many stores you got open right now? Uh, we barbershop got, and clothes yeah, stores. We got, then we got two barbershops and one clothing store. We got a barbershop. My brother Nar got a barbershop in Oakland. I got a barbershop in Modesto and a clothing store right next door to the barbershop in Modesto. Live bar I live, right? Yeah, cause I live closer out there than the town, so yeah. my shit is out closer to where I live. That way, I can manage it every day and pull up every day. You feel me? Straight the fuck up. So, so did you put like people in the community on once you, once you started that? Was that your way of kind of? Putting yeah, a stamp yeah. on the community in a it way. It would like no. Nah, it it would just like like I always like no matter like it. I'm the type of nigga like I'm always involved with the community. I'm a I'm a. It's where I'm at, not where I'm from. Type of nigga like where you from, uh, never change. But you have to look out for where you at because nigga that's where you're at. Period. So yeah. you feel me like like I'll do a toy drive in Oakland. Mm-hmm. And then I'll give free haircuts at my barbershop in Modesto. Like I'll do both of that. Straight to fuck you know what I'm saying? Up. Like for Christmas, like I'll do both of that. Well, talk about talk about uh live wire, because you talked about the clothing line. A lot of people that I know uh have clothing lines or up and coming uh clothing designers, t shirts, whatever it may be. Uh my bro right here actually, he actually got a whole clothing got, line. has a whole clothing line himself. From the bottom. Yeah. So talk yeah. about some of the things you had to go through in order for that thing to come to fruition. Like um so we been had so it, like it started just from merchandise, you know, just from you a rapper, then you had your little merch and shit with your name, your album covers and just shit like that. And then um we just start selling that shit online, you know what I'm saying? And like it just started moving online so much to where we like, well, I, I'm like, I need a store. Like, I need a storefront. You feel Straight me? Up. Because everybody, like, we're black. We're like, not to be, but we're niggas. Every nigga ain't into buying shit over the fucking computer. You feel me? Like, we from the hood. Mm-hmm. I got a thousand niggas in the hood. Like, bro, you know I don't do that internet shit, bro. But if you had a store, nigga, I'll pull up and drop a bag. You know how niggas be. You Fast. feel me? Shut up. Like, niggas yeah, don't so, have debit cards and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and niggas just... Niggas got... Niggas is... It's crack babies and got ADD and niggas don't even have time to sit there on the computer and, and fill and, all that yep. shit out. You and feel add me? Like, card and shit, little nigga like, bro, shit. where the shit at? Here, here go, here go the money right here. So, I needed a storefront. But at the same time... Um, my 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 clothes and shit. They was in the Empire warehouse. Yeah. So like Empire. Mm-hmm. So Empire, they used to handle all the merch. Well, Empire handles all the merchandise for like the artists. It's like that's all important to them. I guess whatever have you want to say. It. Mm-hmm. But they will they will do your merch for you, and they was doing my merch for me. But I'm just hella more hands on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. My shit was at their. My shit was at they um warehouse. they warehouse. Yeah. So when I decided to open a store, I'm like, no. Before I, I'm like, fuck that. I'm finna go get all my shit from their warehouse Facts. and open me a fucking store. Yeah, and even if shit. no, and even if the fucking store don't sell one fucking unit, I'll use the store as my own fucking warehouse where I don't got to drive to their shit hella far every fucking day to the Bay Area. You feel me? And I just get something close by my house in Modesto. Okay. And that was my that was my thinking. Like, cause it's already selling online. So yeah. I'm like, even if I don't sell one fucking hoodie or shirt out the store, I'll just use it as my storage. Sure. Cause I needed a fucking storage. Exactly. Anyway. Hell yeah. So and you so, doing accessories too, right? 
Yeah, yeah, I yeah, do everything. Yeah, I've seen Bluetooths and a whole bunch of other stuff you got going but on. But let me tell you this. I'm the sole owner of everything I do. I don't have no partners. I don't do nothing. Everything I do, I spend all the money. Every dollar come out of my pocket. Ain't no other nigga on this earth kicked in on none of this shit. Straight Perry. up. My nigga, so is that is that building it up from the Straight. ground up by your fucking self? How hard is that? You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's like a motherfucker might look at you and be like, so why are you not big as this person or doing it like that or that? Like, a lot of people that do a lot of shit have partners and shit. Like, not saying I don't want no partners. I just ain't met no millionaire motherfuckers that fuck with me like that. Maybe I'm ghetto. Maybe I'm too outspoken. I don't know. But I just, you feel me? I ain't met no fucking nigga with a, a billion or a million dollars that want to invest in me. That's cool. I ain't tripping. But I yeah, got my own money. And I have no problem doing the shit myself. You feel me? Straight the fuck up. And don't ever get discouraged of doing some shit yourself. Like, if you trying to do something and you don't got no help, still do it. Fuck them. Don't ever let a motherfucker deter your dream because they don't want to help you. Yep. Because when it pop, they're going to want to be a part of it. Straight the fuck it, up. And it, it always happens. It never fucking fails. So my nigga... Niggas know you as Jay Salen, a rapper. Do you got any more business moves you coming? Because you clearly a businessman. You got your own store. You got your own barbershop. What else is in the works? Do you Are you already investing in stocks and shit like that? What else you got on yeah, that? Yeah, like I, um, I do the penny stocks, Shut like up. Acorn, because I know... I know motherfuckers that really hit from that shit. On oh, Acorn, I'll be saying that Apple Live. No, but not I ain't. Acorn. Just the penny stocks, period. Okay. Acorn, okay, is, yeah, yeah, Acorn is one penny stock. Okay. You feel me? That's just one penny stock. That ain't even penny stock. That's a that's a uh, loose chain stock. Like if if you spend seventy five cents, Acorn the take the they take the twenty five. If you if, if you spend a dollar, they take the um no. If you spend seventy five cent, but you give some, but you give you a dollar, dollar you get that they take cent that twenty five cent okay. and invest it. Penny stocks is 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 just the stocks cost pennies. Like whatever, however many pennies you. But I know like motherfuckers that really hit from penny stocks, like. Okay. You can buy hella shares because they cost they only cost pennies. Mm -hmm. So you can buy five thousand shares. Like you can spend five thousand dollars and buy five hundred thousand shares because they only shares, cost a yeah. fucking penny. And then all they got to go up to is five cents. They mm -hmm. don't got to. You feel me? They cost a penny. As soon as the motherfuckers cost five cents or ten cents, dump them motherfuckers. Straight up. You gonna make you thirty, forty thousand real fast. See, and a lot of people uh, uh, in our neighborhoods don't even have that kind of knowledge to even think about penny stocks. You feel what I'm saying? And money so, is money, bro. Money however you money, get the shit, it don't get matter. It. And so you you actually are giving access to something that not very many people even talk about in our in our section of the way. We breathe the same air. We come from the same shit, go through the same shit, been through the same shit. Right. So not too many people see an opportunity of using five thousand five hundred dollars. Because when people think about stocks, they think you have to have hella money. Hella money. M niggas don't even know it's fucking penny stocks. Niggas don't even know you can take a hundred dollars, nigga, and buy you a, a hundred shares. I mean and buy you a thousand shares that cost a penny a piece. And the motherfuckers cost three cents, sell them. Shit, man, you know what it be. Niggas want that fast return. Niggas want that quick money. You don't be trying to put that shit in no fucking stocks. But at, yeah. but at, but at some point, bro, uh, um, we got to go from believing in the Pop-Tarts and going to roast. Yeah. You feel me? And, and so sometimes we got to learn uh, or teach when we've been in a position uh, uh, to learn how to cut up the vegetables, right? Marinate the meat. And understand that the oven got to warm up before it's even ever time for that. For real. For that and, to be put in. Let me just like, let's just, just go back to like business and shit. Yeah. So I opened my barbershop because I was going to a barbershop. Like this barbershop in the, uh, in the city where I live at in Tracy called KJ's. Yeah. So they was like my barber. So I'm going there and like, it's, you know, it's a nice, it's a nice shop. It's flourishing. It's flourishing. And I'm like... Like that that's what made me want to open up a barbershop. Mm. But like I have to put my nigga on because he gave me the whole just idea of just doing something different. So the owner of KJ's, 
is um this 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 pastor, his name Joe, and his partner is this other nigga named Brownie. Mm-hmm. Brownie is the nigga that that cut the hair on the show, LeBron James yeah, show. Yeah, 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 yeah. The nigga that's cutting on the hair. On the show. Yeah. Damn, no shit. On the shop. The shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The nigga that's cutting the hair on the shop, mm-hmm. that's my nigga Brownie. He lived like five minutes away. He lived right, right around the corner from me. Shut up. But the, him and his partner, them niggas own eight barbershops. And they have one shop with like 22 chairs in that motherfucker. <laughs> and they charge two. Fifth, no, they charge three hundred now a chair because they just went up January first. They charge three hundred a week for twenty two chairs, my nigga. Out of one shot, what's three hundred times twenty two? Who got a phone? What's three hundred times twenty two? Calculate that shit. Oh my god! Just let him hear the numbers. Six thousand six hundred. That's yeah. what he making a week from mm-hmm. one barbershop. Yeah. Six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four. Come on, he man. making twenty-four thousand a month from one barbershop. Just say, just say, he getting ten from the other barbershops a month. We get seventy thousand plus the twenty. That's ninety-four thousand dollars a month, a month from cutting hair. Nigga ain't robbed nobody, ain't shot nobody, ain't crossed nobody, ain't did no snake shit, nothing. The nigga just used this. So, All you gotta do is use this. We know a bunch of dudes that cut hair, right? That are pretty successful. Shout out to G Class. Yep. Uh uh Ryan. Uh we can break them down. Break Lee, them down, Lee, Mar, right? So many dudes. How did how did uh if you would share some knowledge, how did you get how did your homies get to a position where they were able to expand uh uh their business to a position where it was going and taking up different parts? Uh, of just the safe. City. Like you never know, shit gonna pop. Like when when y'all open this studio, y'all didn't know motherfuckers was gonna really come and fuck with it. You just got to have faith. Like, yeah, you feel me? Like they had one shop. Like we're like like me. I'm gonna open another barbershop. Hmm. I just have faith. I don't know if the motherfucker, it, the motherf- You feel me? I don't know if it's gonna pop or or if it's not gonna pop. Mm-hmm. You just got. You can't be scared. Like, hmm. like you gonna miss a million. Of the shots that you never take. Fact. My nigga, your you faith is strong, bro. You have bro. to take a shot, like, like, bro. When did this shit start, though? Like, you always had this strong faith. Was you in church or something? Like, no, nah, it's just like... Life, life experience. No, it, it's just... It, it has to be better than this. Straight up. You feel me? Like, it has to be better than this. I'm not... I don't, I don't want this for the rest of my life. Like, if, if this is all that there is... And I'm cool. Yeah. Like it has to be something better, and you just have to go for it. Like any nigga that's just cool with just whatever. I mean, if you cool with whatever, whatever, that's cool. But if you not living the life you want to live, and you're mm. cool with it, then that's that's not cool. Yeah, most niggas don't maneuver through you know your saying? circumstances like, like cool. that. Like a lot of niggas don't do that. Like I, I, I think about having to go, like not to be racist or prejudiced or nothing, but I really I mean, think man, about. No, I ain't talking about him. Because oh, okay. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> a lot of people gonna see this. Yeah, I really dread having to go work for a white person. Mm. That's, okay. That's why I work so hard. Like I'm not finna go take no orders from no white people. Like period. Like we've been, we was in slavery for too long. You ever have a job, bro? Yes, I quit that motherfucker, bought me a quarter ounce of dope and never looked back. Straight the fuck out. Oh, oh God. Man. I oh. was about 18. Straight up. My nigga, so when when did you say, man, fuck? You just say you bought a quarter ounce. I worked at Togos. Of- my nigga from the hood was the manager there. My nigga um, Al. Al Shannon. My nigga Al Shannon. Nope. His little brother, Sean Shannon, was a, uh, was a kingpin in our hood. But my nigga Al... Uh, my nigga Al... Worked at Togo's and I was on probation. So my, my PO was pushing me to get a job. So I was like, nigga, just come work here. Woo. So bam, nigga, I'm working here. So I had got off probation, but I was still working there. And Al, he was assistant manager. So it was another manager, this lady. That bitch was hella mean, bro. And <laughs> one day I said, like, fuck this shit, bitch. Like, I don't like, I just thought to myself, like, like, cause you know how bitches be when you put a, a woman in power that you feel today? Yeah, like, 
Bro, you don't have to take this shit, bro. You got a fucking spot that you can go to. You can buy some dope and go to your fucking hood, bro, and get you some fucking money. You don't got to take this shit from this bitch, from nobody. And that's what I did, nigga. I got my last check. I bought me a quarter ounce of dope, and I quit. Nigga, they called me like three days because I didn't come to work for like three days or a call or nothing. And they called me like, so are you going to come to work? Ooh. I'm like, I thought I was fired. She's like, you are, but I like you, so I'll you can come back. Ooh. I'm like, no, I'm cool. Nah, bitch, I'm cool. Yeah, exactly. Straight cool, up. Bitch. My nigga, so when when did you decide to put the drugs down and become a full time rapper? When did you want to be a rapper, bro? I always wanted to be a rapper. That's the thing, bro. Drugs was never that was the side hustle. Yeah, rap was always number one. I always knew I wanted to do that. This was just something to keep some money in my pocket to so I can While get you to where I that, want. Yeah, you feel me? so I can maneuver that. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Uh, shout out to uh, Tony TV, by the way. Uh, he got an amazing question for you, bro. And he wanted to know what was the biggest thing or the biggest big breakthrough you had in order to set you in this direction uh, uh, that you want right now. Like, what was the biggest like obstacle you? I love you that had? question because it's simple. Every day, my birthday. Break, oh, okay. That song changed my life. That song took me out of an apartment to a house. Took me out of mm -hmm. a Buick scraper to a motherfucking Porsche. That That's song crazy. changed my life. My nigga, ain't. After I put that song out, I never had an American car again. Hey, that, hey, that <laughs> song you lot. got with Big Crit is like no, one of my I, no, favorites, bro. No, 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 bro. no, no, no. Let me, I had a Challenger, but I liked those. <laughs> <laughs> it it wasn't that Big Hemi I joint. Those. I know it wasn't that Big Hemi joint. No, when they first came out. This was even before the Hemi. Y'all straight up. This, I, had, I, had, I, I bought it when they first came out. Like, I had the Challengers when they first came out. Straight up. You know, the Hemis came like the next year with the big engines and shit. But yeah, but after I, I wrecked that motherfucker, I bought me a Benz after that, and I've never had an American car since. I got a Jaguar truck right now, a Panamera, and a six and a photo six fifty. Shut up, man, nigga. I been I got up on you about like oh eight oh nine. How long have you been rapping though? I remember the first song. What was it? uh? I'm so gangsta, it's the G in me. That was the first song I ever heard from you. So that was the first album. That was on the album. On Damn, that was the, the first one. Damn. I told the town, I told the bay up with mixtapes before that. Straight up. Killed it with mixtapes. You never heard Let's Get It On Tonight? No, how long ago was that? Oh my God. You hear Let's Money, Get It you On Tonight? Money, you got 30 albums already. Shit. Let's Get It On Tonight. You got to hear it. That was on, the, uh, that was on my early morning shift mixtape. Okay. Like, I had every fucking body in the fucking Bay Area on that mixtape, nigga. And I didn't know none of them people. I didn't know none of them at that time, nigga. My nigga who I was working with, DJ Devro. He was a mixtape DJ, and he used to do mixtapes with everybody. Like, he got me all them So the DJ broke- I love that nigga to death. Did the hey. DJ break you through? Is that the nigga who broke you through to yes. that circuit? Straight up? Yes. He put me in that circle with everybody. DJ Defro did that, and I would tell, I always give him his credit. Straight the fuck up. Yes. So what would you say, uh, because I, I feel like Kansas City and, and West Oakland, right? Uh, is similar in size. Now, right? the, whole, the whole Oakland, like it, it's 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 very similar. And so, yeah. at, at at what point would you? What would you say to some of our small time artists that are wanting to get into an independent position like yourself? Uh, what would you tell them as some of the like fundamental things that they got to have as habits? Flood the market. Flood. Put a video out every week, nigga, for a year straight. Put four videos up. out a month for a year straight. Drop a mixtape every month. And off that mixtape, shoot six or ten videos off that motherfucker. You just gotta this is this shit is all about consistency now. It's all about who work the hardest. Mm -hmm. Like 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 when you grind it, you can have the best dope in the world. But if you only got a a, a zip of that shit and this nigga got some all right dope, but he got a key yeah, of that shit. Yeah. You gonna run out, and that nigga still gonna be rolling, mm. and you gonna re up another zip and run out again, and he's still gonna be like this, rolling on your ass, rolling on you. <laughs> you don't got to be the best, bro. You just got to put out the most product, but you can't put out bullshit product. It has to be quality, quality. It don't got to be the best, but it has to be so at you least took some time. quality. Niggas work at the. Feel me? Niggas gotta to be real be talented, least, bro. You really gotta be talented, bro. To put out quality on a consistent basis. This is a basis. perfect example. To me, well, I'm going to keep it honest. I I thought, well, to me, Jeezy hella dope, but I, that first album, I, I don't think he wrote that. 
He can't. He no, couldn't bro, have, bro. bro. He, couldn't he couldn't have, bro. Have. I agree with Dumb you on motivation so motivation one-on-one. Is that what we talking about? Yes, he couldn't have. It ain't been the same shit. No, no. It ain't even the same. It's got me No, the drop-off was so far. Like, it was severe, bro. Yeah, it was a cliff. You feel me? Yeah, it was a cliff. It wasn't like... That's a fact. It wasn't like that album was A plus and then the rest of the shit was like. Because you never these. see him perform all them other the rest of the shit albums was like ever. These, bro. It was like what? A plus and like D. And right. nothing ever back to the A plus level. But I said all that to say this. To me, Jeezy was a way better rapper than Gucci. But if you look at their discography, Gucci got a hundred more projects, albums, yeah. projects than Jeezy. That's man. facts. And that's where the difference is. The work is. Gucci, like, nigga, you niggas can, nigga, y'all could be the best rapper, go hang with Jay Z, do it Niggas can't want. work hard. I'm gonna be trapping. You know, you know. When you doing it, I'm gonna be trapping. When you with Jeannie Mae, and I'm gonna be trapping. When you with Jay Z, and I'm gonna be trapping. Nigga, I'm gonna be trap, 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 trapping, nigga. And look, like, that's the perfect example. Like, Jeezy no, is a fact. way better rapper to me than, than Gucci, Gucci facts. Nigga, but Gucci work ethic is it's just crazy. impeccable. It's crazy. It's impeccable. Facts. It's facts. impeccable. It's crazy. My nigga, so when did you first get tapped in with KC? Like, because you here, you a hometown favorite. So when did it start? When did you know, like, yo, I got love in KC? And Pacino called me and told me that his nigga from KC wanted to book me for a show. What year was this? This was 2010. Okay. Mm. So you a decade in the game. This was I've been coming out for 10 years. I told somebody that earlier. Yeah, this was 2010 when uh when um uh, when the prenuptial agreement first came out. Okay. That's been a long That's a long run, my nigga. Prenup 10 years old. Uh so you, okay, you've been coming to KC for about 10 years. Has there ever been KC artists that you tapped in with that you fuck with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fuck like when Ron Ron was when Ron Ron was doing this Go, shit like Ron Ron, Ron Ron my nigga Ron Ron been on a few of my albums. Sure. You know what I'm saying I, I fuck with little I fuck with little Fade. You know what I'm saying like that's that's one of my artists is actually on Livewire. He, he signed just, to the Live Wire right yeah, now. Yeah, he just Shut can't up. stay out of fucking jail. You know you Kansas City niggas. <laughs> 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 no, they be trapping the us. They be trapping us. They niggas can't stay out of jail. Niggas can't stay out of jail. You know, but you uh, see, you know, Rich, Rich, my nigga too. You know, like fact, I fuck with the factor. We supposed to shoot a video while I'm out here too. That's dope. Shut so up. when when we gonna see uh, one of the small time artists get plugged in with the West Coast? Cause we got some hot young when niggas right now. We got some hot dudes. We got some hot young niggas right now. It's only a plane ride away. But we, but see the thing is, you have to come and stay. Like you have to come and make your presence felt. Mm. You feel me? You know what I'm saying if you got a badass bitch in L.A. And you come fuck that bitch once a month, that ain't good enough. Because there's niggas in L.A. that's just as dope as you that's trying to fuck that bitch every day. Mm-hmm. You feel me? That ain't good that's enough. That's a hell of it's a metaphor. Yeah, that's a hell of an analogy. That's a hell that's of an analogy. That's a good analogy. It's not good enough, bro. Yeah. Like, nigga, like, you feel me? Like, <laughs> you, if you, if you want to make a... If you want to make your mark somewhere, you got to go there and nigga plant your foot down. You got to plant your foundation, put your flag down. That way, when you leave, your flag still blowing in the air. Man, how so? How's the pop? How's that with like for Casey nigga do come out there and try to do like, that? Bro, I didn't and came he not from there. Bro, though. I didn't yeah, came. He he not from I didn't came to KC, bro. When I wasn't even doing shows, bro, just out here. Mingling, doing verses, fucking with niggas like two, three weeks, bro. Like I didn't been out here for two, three weeks, not even doing no shows, my nigga. Have y'all listening, just, bro? This the you game. Feel me? Just me. This the just blueprint. Listen to it. I didn't did that here, nigga. L.A., Vegas, Akron, Youngstown, Denver, nigga. Like this my brother. Like he that, live in yeah. Denver, nigga. I come to his house, nigga, for two, three, four, five days and all, just record, just time. fuck around, yeah. record with Denver niggas, just fuck with niggas. You yeah. feel me, like? Just you got to get around. You can't like can't be just standing there. Can't stand in the box yeah, and stay yeah, stagnant. Stand. Straight up. Who got the lighter? Just move to the back. How how important is a team? Very. To, to, no, to no, no, it's, it's, very, but it's very important on where you want to be. Mm-hmm. Because the bigger you are, the more people you're gonna need. You feel me? Yeah. Niggas, bro, Jay-Z got like six thousand employees. Jerry, what I said? Yeah. That's one man. The, an employee. Boss. The little, the, the fucking, the fucking, the hard knock, the Annie nigga. Mm-hmm. The hard knock life Annie nigga. Got 6,000 6, people that work for him. 
That nigga got to put his signature on 6,000 checks oh, Paul, he get every two weeks. Right. Every Shit, two he weeks. He paying motherfuckers. Every two weeks, bro. See, and the fact that you just said the Andy nigga, I feel like it's when Jay-Z broke through the mainstream. You ever thought about being a mainstream nigga? You ever had a deal on the table that you thought about doing? Not that I ever thought about. I've never, I've never been respected in those environments. No, in those um, meetings and shit. Mm. They, they never, they always, well, not always, but I just, I just felt like maybe, maybe they felt like what they was offering me was reasonable for where I, where I was at at that time or whatever, whatever. But I always feel like I was more, and at the same time, you dealing with a demon. Because at the same time, you giving a motherfucker the the permission to stop your shit. Like if you sign to a label and you do something they don't like, they'll just sit don't. you on the shelf, bro. Yeah. And like like you're a no, like you're a fucking kid and they're teaching you a fucking lesson. Like I'm like go stand in the corner, nigga. You ain't putting out no fucking albums. <sighs> no, that's out on you, nigga. I put out five albums in one year. Who the fuck you mean? Independent. Facts. Yeah. Come on. So how much how much is uh focus and, and and removing distractions been essential to you getting to this point? It's 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 everything because it like it ain't even everything. It's just being your own person. Yeah. It's 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 like um boys in the hood. You have to be your own person. I'm not mad at Trey because he got out the car. Trey ain't fake. Trey knew he wasn't a fucking wasn't killer, nigga. Yeah, I'm up. not, come on, I'm not finna go kill nobody. I love you to death, nigga, but I ain't finna do that. Let me out. That, I respect a nigga like that. Mm. Nigga, you feel me? I have friends. My, my best friend in the world, tattooed on my back, passed away. Was not no killer. I kill a nigga for him, but he was not no killer. I love him to death, but he didn't try to be that. Mm, feel me? He so wasn't no rah rah ass nigga. Like, like, come on, bud. Come on, bro. We like we chilling. We gone, bro. Like yeah. we niggas, niggas acting funny in the club. We gone. We gone, bro. We ain't come on, bro. We ain't even tripping. We, we, we go to another on, club, bro. You famous, bro. I'm not finna. You feel me? Like, yeah, nigga, shut up. Like these niggas ain't even worth it, bro. These right. niggas, they don't got nothing to lose. They're they're these niggas they have no problem yeah. with going to sit in a cell a with another yep. man for a hell of fucking years. Yep. They got no problem with that. I love <laughs> pussy too much. I love pussy way too much. No, I don't want to share a fuck. I don't. I don't yeah. like sharing. I want to share my bedroom with a bitch. Period. Facts. Though. Period. Yeah. I don't want to share no fucking room with a nigga for hella fucking long. My nigga. I might want to jack off or something. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> On the real. Yeah. <laughs> hey, boy, this dude crazy. <laughs> Hey man, so what's the biggest Real. what's the biggest tour you've been on, my nigga? Uh, my own tour, the prenuptial. How many cities you hit? Man, man, we did like sixty cities that year, bro. We Damn, did, we did hell. We went everywhere, bro. Yeah, we man, went, went everywhere. As dope, bro. Doe was with me. We went everywhere, bro. But Trey the Truth took me on the tour. Facts. My nigga from Houston, I love Trey the Death. Shout, Shout out Trey, Trey the Truth. Yeah. And then, yeah. um, my nigga, um. My nigga Johnny Gold, he put me on a tour. It was uh, me and Eric, me and Eric, Be me and Eric Bellinger. Bellinger okay. So those are the three biggest tours I went on: the prenuptial agreement tour for my biggest album, the tour with Trey, and then me and Eric Bellinger. Shout out to Eric Bellinger. That's my favorite singer. That nigga hey, awesome. now that nigga raw. That that uh go. that uh song you got with Crit that came out years sing. ago is one of my favorites. Come on. Shout out to uh, my nigga Johnny Shipes, my nigga yep. from New York. Shout he put out that Johnny together. Shipes. Yep. That's uh uh Big Crit is artist. And yep. Shipes yeah, my nigga, yeah, so he yeah. put that together for yeah, me. I think, Shout uh, out Shipes. Crit is uh, independent now. He is. Yeah, yeah. He but left Shipes that gym. Was, but but, but no, Shipes, yeah. Shipes is manager. I yeah, some shit like that. I know he still fuck with Shipes. Whatever they got going on. Shipes a cool ass nigga. Nipsey yeah. was signed to Shipes. Facts. R.P. Nip. Yes, he was. Facts. R. Facts. Nip. Uh, what was it? Uh, Cinematic? That's what Cinematic it is. Music Group. That's yo, what it Cinematic is. Music, yeah. He had a song called Shipes CEO. Shipes, my nigga. Yo. Man, you've been you've been on the grind for a long time, dog. So when we gonna see? Uh, I think you should get with D Walk. He rap. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think you should get with NB Five Eight. NB Five Eight. Uh, it's a lot else? of hot young uh, niggas, man. Dadu, you gotta get with him. 
Uh, it's a few dudes you should tap in with. Y'all young got cats. Email, let's put it together. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't like, know. Y'all, y'all, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. saying. That's, that's what I'm saying. saying. Yeah, we're the bridge. That's, that's what I'm bridge. saying. Exactly. We're the bridge now. Yeah, we trying to make sure yeah, you yeah, link with those people, bro. So, so, uh. Hold on, hold on. Before we let them go, though, because this nigga, I watched the interview a minute ago. Nigga say he been listening to music since he can remember. No, no, my nigga, we gonna talk this shit up. Yeah, you niggas got me talking. Yeah, shit. Um, what's your top five, nigga? I just had that question. I gotta hear this. Pac. Okay. DMX. Yep. Somebody I said I always leave out, and I be hella mad. I leave them out all the time. So it's Pac, X. He like raw niggas. Big. Real rap. We were just talking Jada. About I was about to say, if you don't say that's kiss, we got an issue. Every time. We that's got an issue. Out. That's who I leave out. That's who I leave out. I get tired of people that's living our kids, leave bro. Out. Pac, X, Jada. Jada, Big. And, and let me hear this one. This the, this the one. And Ross. Yeah, hey, on the on the chill shit, always. Bro, oh, Ross oh, is on a the, phenomenal rapper. On the when smooth I say shit, phenomenal, oh my god, on the smooth he shit, he rap phenomenally. He's so, not great. He ain't tight. He ain't dope. He's, he's phenomenal. phenomenal. That's a yeah. strong JC word. is great. <laughs> DMX nigga, is dope. Yeah. Like everybody is in they in, in their own separate like, lane. Like yeah. bro, like like bro, that nigga, bro, that nigga X, bro, that nigga. Bro, that nigga X really come off like this. Lord, you left me stranded, and I don't know why. Told me to live my life, now I'm ready to die. Nah. You told me to fly, I cried, nah. I shed those tears. You told me you would dead those fears. It's been come years. On, man. Like, the nigga having a conversation with God. How can he not be in my top five? That's fact. How many niggas rapping? How many niggas, how many niggas rapping? Him? How many niggas? How many <laughs> niggas like For you real. told me? Like, come on, bro. I'm, I'm hurting down here, bro. You told me you would change this shit. I'm trying not to go kill and rob. And how many of us like, have I'm, actually I, gone like, through that? Faith, like yeah. I'm believing in you. Like, come on, man. And imagine, real. imagine what that song did for like, so many shit, niggas' bro, lives, bro. That, imagine right. what it did to me, man. Bro. Like, come on, bro. Like that shit. Before like, before we, DM, we, I ain't gonna we lie. get you DMX out of DMX music touch you the most. Yeah. He gave Jay-Z, you the most. X music touched me the most. I I will I cried the I most. I was about to say he'll to make DMX. you cry, yeah. Jay Z gave me the most Gang. knowledge. Mm. Period. That thing, bro. Niggas really be too smart, but I feel nigga, like I feel bro, like niggas don't know how to decipher Jay Z lyrics, bro he, bro. he really like a fucking bro. Like if he took an IQ test, his shit probably sh- <laughs> shoot out the fucking roof. Like the nigga really smart, bro. <laughs> like, like so. No, for real. So, for real though. so listen, no. So he he um he tried to move into this building in New York, right? And it was hella white neighbors, and they didn't want him in the. In he the did a song yeah, about yeah. it. That nigga say, "Don't make me go get the light skinned nigga with the with the pretty hair." You don't even know. You don't know nah, bring it down. That nigga, he talking about Al Sharpton. <laughs> Don't make me go get Rev- Reverend Sharpton, bitch. Y'all, y'all denying me. I'm Jay Z. I'm a millionaire, bitch. I'm come on, but bitch, I will, I will have bitch Reverend Sharp. Come on, bitch. Like I will go get the Reverend. <laughs> Quit playing with me. <laughs> like, like. You you acted like I don't have Obama on speed dial. Yeah, that's a fact. Like what is you like like that's I can't fact. live here. That's mm. a fact. Bitch, I will get you evicted out the whole New York City. Nah, Why you talking fight. about a fucking apartment? But he's so, he don't even want to throw Al under the bus. Yeah. So he just metaphor it. Just put it don't make me go get the light skinned nigga with the slicky hair. That's what he said with the slick hair. Yeah. The, 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 the straight back shit. Fact. Bro, like, nigga. And the reason how I know this, because they broke it down in his book. I didn't know this from listening to the song. I don't know who the light skinned nigga with slick hair is. That's why I was his stuck. Book. I'm like, boom. No, his book, bro. I, I read books, bro. Look. You got oh, audio too. books? What oh. you got, my nigga? Uh, What's your favorite book? My favorite one so far? Uh, yeah. My favorite one so far is Double Cross, the Sam Giacana story. Hmm. You know who Sam you, Giacana yeah, was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you uh, heard of The Alchemist? The rapper? No, I heard of it. No, I never, I never, no the book, I never read The, the book, Alchemist. Though. No. Oh, hey. 
Hey, but this is the oh book I'm talking boy. about that Jay Z, Eric Dyson. Five family, did. Eric Dyson. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah, I'm on the five families right now. I just finished the Tony Spilatro story. The little mm. nigga, little Nicky, who played in, from Casino. Yeah, the nigga yeah, yeah. Who, I know what you're talking his about. His name wasn't Nicky. His name was Tony. Yeah, boy, my nigga got good books on here, bro. Good reads. You need that rich dad, poor dad. I mean, you already up on it, but shit. That's a no, good read. Yeah, that's bro, a good read. I read that a long time ago, though. I say, that's hey, a good read. many people have not read the Willie Lynch letter. Oh, come on, bro. Hey, you know how many people are are losing? Niggas ain't woke, bro. Because they have not woke, read that? Because they still doing that right you now. Read Black Fortunes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm, hey, bro. I'm bro, I'm that serious. Joint. Yeah. Oh man, you hey, you got to man, you have to. Bro, I got. Do you see all this shit I got? Books, I got. I, I got like. And that's good. That's good that a lot of I people got, that I watch got this so can much read that, diverse shit, bro. That. Like, look, bro. I hold on. I got the Quiet Don. That's the uh, the Ru the Russell Buffalino story. That's the nigga who Joe Pesci played in The Irishman. Yeah. Oh, The Irishman, some heat, yeah, bro. See, these yeah. niggas really gangsters. This nigga had a book. 15 years ago before that movie. That motherfucker I got far, the rise bro. and fall of a casino gangster, the Tony Spilatro story, Five Families, Jay-Z new book, uh, Made in America, yep. The Sixth Family, that's about uh, Anthony Rizzuto, mm. it's about the mafia family mafia, that was yeah. in Montreal. I just read uh, Vincent Jaconte, The Chin, his biography. You know, the, the, mm -hmm. eye, the nigga that played yeah. like he was crazy no, and, I know and exactly ran the Genovese family for yeah. 30 years. Hell no, nah, nope. I'm sleep on it. Oh, my God. I'm yeah. sleep, nigga. I'm here. He played, he played crazy for 26 years. And he, was, what? he was incompetent for trial. Just so he can get on. He Damn. finally, he finally, when he was 76, my nigga, he finally admitted to the, because the judge, you know, they had wiretaps and shit, so they was finna... He was playing crazy. Mm -hmm. So everybody who went along with the crazy act was Down finna get to, prosecuted. Yep. His mama, his wife, everybody. everybody. Yep. So the judge made him come clean. But the judge already knew because they got wiretaps. But but he just had to, the judge wanted to hear him say it. <sighs> like, we just went like, yes, it's all a hoax. Man, I'm not, it's nothing wrong with me. I've been playing crazy to a loot. FBI, so I could run the Genovese crime family for whatever, whatever, whatever. Damn, my nigga. So before we get you up out of here, man, we always do this shit on the show, man. We got a topic of the day, and the topic today is toxic relationships. How do you know when to cut a motherfucker off? Family, friends, whatever. Girl, how do you know when? I know you've probably been in that situation a few times. With women... If you start losing money or your freedom is at risk, cut her off. Facts. Period. When when you get the risk of your freedom or you get to losing money over a bitch, she don't need to be in your life, period. And with 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 family, if if a motherfucker ain't 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 if a motherfucker don't have good shit to say about you, mm. get away from him. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? And just like with, with friends, you can just tell with, 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 with friends, like you can just tell the nigga that's, that's waiting to say some fuck shit because he been mad and you just got to stop that shit before it even happens. Yeah, for real. Just, and you don't even just, and you don't even just, you just this like, I'm busy, bro. Like, it ain't even no, oh, 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 I ain't fucking like, with I don't you fuck no with niggas. Like, yeah, bro, for I'm sure. Busy, bro. Like, I'm for busy, sure. bro. Like, I'm busy, bro. I'm busy, period. Facts. Like, bro, I ain't seen you in a minute. Bro, I've been busy, bro. I got my kids, bro. I'm living my life, bro. You good? Yep, lay to death. See you in a minute. Facts. Man, nigga. Period. No, hey, no hate, no malice, yeah. no It ain't no, no nothing, nothing, my ain't nigga. No I love you. I'm bothered. I, I, I just trying to get my shit together. I shit. To death. I, bro, to death, bro. I just love me more. Let's you know, know, I'm just trying to get my shit together, bro. I, I don't it, bro. want the energy, just bro. Cause, just because just cause, just cause we don't see eye to eye and, 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 and we can't be around each other like that don't mean that I don't love you. I love my mama. Can I kick it with my mama? No. Mm. Me and my mama can't go to the club. Me and my mama can't do this. You feel me? That's a woman. She's fucking in her 60s. I, you feel me? Me and my, I can't do. I love my mama to death. But me and my mama can't do what me and you can go do. Can we? Okay. No. No, we can't. 
Me and my mama can't go get a bottle, nigga. Nigga, roll up some weed, nigga. Get send high, me, yeah, go to the talk studio, shit, go yo. knock some bitches. You feel me? I can't. You feel me? <laughs> just, just. I still love you. I right. can't fuck with you like that. Yeah. Just because you can't fuck with a motherfucker like that on me, you don't love him no more. You need to define how you how you yeah, want like, your world to look and who you, you want to be in it. You finna get evicted. You don't gotta love rent. I got you. Yeah, my nigga. You feel me? I'm talking but, about uh, nigga. This interview. Send me your PayPal. This motherfucking interview been a pleasure, <laughs> my boy. For oh, real. This shit been a pleasure, my nigga. Facts. I appreciate y'all yeah. sliding through Thank fucking you, with us, bro. Man, we appreciate it. You know what I mean? Hey, one I'm more Waddy. question. One more question. Uh, if, if, if you can. What would you say, bro, to the inspiring rappers that are trying to uh, come up in your early stages? What was some of the things that you had to do in order to get into a position besides... Uh, uh, a lot of the uh, putting out music that you had to do. It was a lot of groundwork, a lot of character building you had to do, a lot of storytelling you had to come and face in order to put those th kind of things out. So how real with yourself did you have to be in order to be as real and, and, and vulnerable as you are in your music? To answer your question is, you just have to put it all on the line. If you put it all on the line, a motherfucker can't shame you. You can't call you, you you can't call me and say little bitch ass nigga you a crack baby. I already told you that in my music. I told you my mama smoked crack. I told you my baby mama a hoe nigga. You can't hurt me with nothing. I already told you everything. That's that Eminem strategy. You feel me? And then the other, cause you you asked yeah, two yeah, yeah. you asked a few questions in yeah, one, yeah. and the other part was most important to me is, man, get your own studio. Where you can record anytime you feel like it, nigga. If you dreaming about a motherfucking song, wake up, go downstairs, and put that motherfucker down. Having your own studio, your own house, where you can record anytime you feel like it, is priceless. <laughs> priceless. Yeah. Feel me? Like, this is a great studio. But when ain't nobody hearing this motherfucker, close, close. And you know, the only motherfucker that can record when he wants to is whoever got a fucking key to it. And I, I don't think too many people got keys. Probably two or three. And one of them or two of them probably don't even rap. Hmm. Facts. Come on, man. We appreciate it. My nigga, I got, man. Bro, I have a studio in my house because that's where I live at. Ain't nowhere else I got a studio at. In the back of my motherfucking clothing store because that's where I be at. <laughs> nigga, I got a studio where I live at and I got a studio where, where I, I work be at. at. Yep. Period, nigga. Man, I could, be, I, I could be selling a motherfucking hoodie behind the counter you. and some shit come to my head, nigga, and I spin off in the back room and lay that shit down. Soon as soon as I make the sale and they leave. <laughs> Hungry. Getting to it. I understand that more than you know, bro. Bro, I got a studio I'm where I live at and I got a studio where I be at. Cause you know why? I only be where I be and only live where I live. I don't go nowhere else. Man, nigga, we got Jay Stallion in the fucking building, man. It's Waddy FTB. I fuck with you, dog. Bro, I fuck with you. We got Ron S. Harvey. And on God's green earth, bro, if I was at my bitch house as much as I was at my house, I would have a studio at her shit, too. <laughs> I just ain't there enough. My dog. Man, My just ain't dog. Enough, bro. this is a wide open <laughs> podcast. You officially been wide open, man. Enough, Shout out to my nigga Jay Stallion, oh, man. Oh my god, amazing show, dog. Shit I crazy. Shit crazy. Shit crazy.